Holy shit, I didn't realize how tan I was. Oh well. I think this is my new filming spot. The only problem with this filming spot is I can only film at nighttime or when all of my family leaves. So we're accepting what we have right now. I have plans for the future. I can't tell you right now. This will work. This will work. This will work for now. I went over to my mom's house because I needed to get my chair because I've literally been editing videos on a box. Like I've been sitting on a box. And so when I went over to get my chair, I got this guy. I brought him over. He's so cute. I can't believe I didn't bring him over when I first moved. Like I brought my necessities and you're a necessity. I've had this thing since I was like 17 or 18. I got it for my birthday for my stepmom. I fucking love it. It's been a while since I've made a video telling you guys about my dreams and I have lists because when I wake up after having a dream, I just grab my phone and I write down a couple things. They never make any sense, but I, I always write down a couple notes for myself so that I can make these videos because I have weird fucking dreams and sometimes I have really terrifying dreams. And the other night, I think I had one of the scariest dreams that I've had in a while. I think the last dream story time I did were a bunch of paranormal dreams and weird scary dreams and those ones were terrifying and then I stopped having nightmares for a while but I had a dream the other night and I'm gonna tell you guys what caused it but first I'm gonna tell you about the dream or actually maybe I should tell you what happened I'm gonna tell you what happened first this this is a real story this actually happened to me this is not a dream so Saturday Kayla and I went to Sedona and we were hiking all day so by the time I got home I was absolutely exhausted and I think I fell asleep by like nine o'clock at the latest and I was the only person home that night so usually my dogs just bark non-stop unless you let them sleep with you so since I was the only person home they wanted to sleep with me but I was tired and didn't feel like staying up and I had to wake up early for work and blah, blah, blah. so I closed my door and I didn't let my dogs in I know I'm a horrible owner I'm sorry around midnight they all started to bark and when they start barking they run outside because they see a bird or some shit and they bark for a couple minutes and then they come back inside and calm down so at midnight they all went outside and they were barking and it woke me up obviously because I have 400 dogs in my window it's right there and I can hear all the ducks in the hopes that they would stop barking, I opened up my door and I let them come in so that they could sleep with me. And so I fell back asleep for about an hour and then around 1 a.m. they all ran out of my room barking and went outside and then they just stopped barking. And typically when they go outside, they just continue to bark until they come back inside. So it was just weird that they were barking inside and went outside and then just stopped. So my door is wide open. My light is just shining right through because I ended up turning my light on because all of my dogs ran away from me, which means I have to go get them now. And all of a sudden I hear a knocking on my back door. Like somebody is knocking on my back door and so I just I sat up in my bed and I was like oh my god like I didn't know if it was like maybe one of them or if I was hearing it correctly I laid in my bed and just like waited to see if anything else happened and the knocking kept going on for probably five minutes and then all of a sudden I heard footsteps coming over it because we have rocks in our backyard so I just heard footsteps in the rock coming over to my window and while I heard the footsteps going away from the back door I sprinted and shut my door and locked it because I was like if somebody's trying to break into my house and my door is wide open they're gonna just walk right in I'm gonna be like what's up so I got up and I closed my door so that they wouldn't be able to see it because you can kind of see my door from the like the back windows so, like if you were outside looking in you'd be able to see my door so I got up and I closed my door and I locked it I had just me and Kennedy which is my small dog in here as soon as I shut my door run back and start knocking on the back door again and so I was like shitting my pants because I was like holy shit okay well now they know where I am and then I'm in this room a couple of minutes later I hear the footsteps again with the rocks coming over here and they start knocking on my window. And so at this point, I was just like begging Kennedy to shut the fuck up because she was barking. I was like grabbing at my phone. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know who's outside. I don't want to call the police because I don't want to be dramatic. But I was like, somebody's literally knocking on my window. So they knocked a couple times and then I heard the footsteps kind of go away from my window. So I tried FaceTiming two different people just so I could investigate because I get scared. Obviously everybody gets scared, but I'm also a detective. I like to think I'm like a police officer, like Olivia Benson SVU. So I was like, I'm gonna go investigate and see what the fuck is going on. Texted my siblings none of them were replying to me I tried calling my brother his phone's off and I was like oh my god I'm literally about to get murdered maybe like 10 minutes goes by and nothing happens so I'm like well maybe they just gave up so I tried to go back to sleep and then my doorbell rings so I was like okay I don't think it's somebody breaking into my house because who politely rings a doorbell when they're trying to break into somebody's house just like hoping that maybe they'll answer so I don't get up to answer the door because I'm like whoever this is I just I hate you right now because you're scaring the shit out of me and then a couple minutes goes by and the doorbell just starts going off like they just kept pressing the button so I assumed that it was somebody like my sibling like one of my siblings so I was like it has to be one of them so I get up and I try to FaceTime people again, nobody answers, of course, because I'm in like a fucking life-threatening situation, of course, nobody answers my phone calls. So I get up and I go to the front door, I look through the peephole, and I see my brother standing there with two Diet Cokes, a bag of chips. I open the door and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? He's like, hey, I locked myself out. Just casually walks inside, walks upstairs. I'm like, why didn't you say my name as you're banging on my window at one o'clock in the morning? Like, why couldn't you be like, hey, court, like I locked myself out? He's like, I don't know. 
So then when I go back to sleep to try to get the remaining four hours of sleep that I get before I have to go to work, I had the worst fucking dream, of course, because my brother just scares the shit out of me for like 30 minutes, middle of the fucking night. So that's where this video is coming from. I feel like this is a reoccurring dream that I have and every time it just gets a little bit more scary. I feel like everybody has those dreams where they can't run away or they can't stay hidden no matter what. Like you could be trying to run as fast as you can but your body just doesn't move that way or you just forget how to run or you're trying to hide and just no matter where you are somebody can always see you. It was a really short dream. It was literally just like a reoccurrence of what the fuck happened but a little bit scarier because it wasn't my brother. So I heard a noise in the kitchen so I went out there and my back door was wide open so I ran over to the door and I locked it and as I locked it I could see somebody outside and so I didn't think they had seen me yet so I went and I shut off the lights and then I hid behind our island and then as I'm sitting there the window kind of kept getting closer and closer to the island and I could see the person waving at me it was just like this creepy it was like gray and had black eyes so this thing is just waving at me from the window and every time I tried to hide more like I kept getting smaller as I'm trying to hide behind the island like my body kept shrinking the more I kept trying to hide from him and then the closer the window got and like the more I could see him and then all of a sudden like I peeked out and the guy was literally just right there and I woke up like pissing my pants and I was like oh my god those are absolutely the worst dreams to be where you cannot get away no matter what but it was terrifying but not all of these dreams are gonna be scary I promise I actually have some very strange dreams that I want to tell you guys about I make notes like this nightmare kitchen locking door man climbs over wall waves in window Th like that's what I write down for myself and I remember that dream pretty clearly I don't know what I meant by man climbs over wall but that, like that's the shit I write down I just I get up and I'm like I wrote this, all my pets, killer whale, fish hamster, fish stayed in a room of water, let killer whale in the ocean, sister, sister. That's what I wrote down for a fucking dream. The only part I really remember is that I literally had a room where you open the door and it was full of water and I had a fish. I mean, that's the only part of that dream. Well, sister, sister, where does that come into play? So I had a dream that I was being held hostage in this house and the longer I was being held hostage, the more the house filled with water. The room that I was in didn't have stairs or a door or windows or anything like that. I had to be able to get up. Like I had to find a way to get out in the like a cutout in the ceiling the water kept rising so I basically just had to wait for the water to rise for me to be able to climb through this cutout and then finally I think I don't know how long it had been I mean it was a dream but the water reached the ceiling so I was able to climb through the floor and run and try to escape and then as I'm escaping I'm running through this neighborhood and I'm getting bombarded by all of these families who are looking to buy houses in the neighborhood a little like a real estate convention I don't fucking know so I'm running past all these families and they keep stopping me and I keep getting scared that like I'm gonna get stuck in this crowd of people and then I'm not gonna be able to move fast enough and the people who are holding me hostage are gonna come find me they're gonna find me with all these people and these people are gonna so then as soon as I get past all these people, I end up in Mexico. And as I'm walking through Mexico, I suddenly have a friend with me. Like, I, it was a guy, I don't remember who it was, but we're walking through Mexico and I kept thinking like, we need to find a car so that we can get back home. So we kept going up to all these different car dealerships on the side of the road to try to find somebody who will sell us a car when we have no money. And so we're just in the middle of fucking nowhere in Mexico. We're going up to car dealerships trying to find a car, a ride. We just needed to find some way to get home. And then we find a bus stop and we got on the bus. I'm pretty sure that's the end of the dream. That's all I have here. I put find car dealerships to get car to drive home bus. So I remember we got on the bus. I think more happened. I don't remember. I also had a dream that cars were underwear. It's pretty much all there was to the dream, but it's pretty interesting. Okay, I had this dream. I have to read most of it from my phone because I actually gave myself a lot of detail on this one. Thank the fucking Lord. I hate when I take a long time to make these videos because then I don't exactly remember what happened, but I can still envision the dream, if that makes sense. I was walking down this pathway, like I was in a forest and there were bears and peacocks just like on both sides of the pathway, but it looked similar to Animal Crossing. So like, I don't know if you guys have ever put Animal Crossing. Like there are just trees everywhere and then there are little like random houses and little like birds and frogs and dogs who talk to you but it was all just peacocks and bears like real peacocks and bears but in an animal crossings forest so i went up to one of the peacocks and <laughs> I had to get a mission from them. Cause if you've ever played Animal Crossings, you go up to these people and you have the option to do them a favor or like go retrieve a shirt from George and then they'll give you a couch, that kind of stuff. So I had to go from one peacock to another to get shears like in Minecraft in order to kill the witch. So I get into this battle with a witch and there's basically just a giant cliff that I had to push her off of. I'm not really sure why I had to get shears, but I had to push the witch off of this cliff and there's just a giant tree in the center of this like arena type thing. So I start climbing the tree because I figured if I have the upper hand, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the tree, I got the upper hand. I'm pretty sure I lost to the witch. I don't remember the end of my dreams most of the time, but this is what I wrote down. Giant cliff to push her off, didn't. Climb tree, 
really windy, got down, walked down path, and a bear asked you to pet him. I don't fucking know. I wish I did. I actually don't know if I ever told this dream, but I had a dream that I was famous and I got onto a TV show, but in order to be on the show, it was like a blimp that was in the air where the TV show was recorded and a giant net. I'm trying to think of like a good example of the net. If you ever go to like an obstacle course and they just have the random nets where you have to like climb up, it was kind of like that. So I had to climb up the net and when I got to the very top, Taylor Swift was there. And then as soon as I got into the blimp, One Direction was there and I literally woke up crying because I met One Direction. I'm pretty sure I tweeted about it when it happened. That was a long time ago. I'll never forget that dream. I honestly think that if I ever ran into a One Direction member, I would just shit my pants, cry, and my clothes would fall off of my body. I think that's pretty much it for weird dreams lately. I, I'm gonna start writing them down more often, kind of forget half the time or I'm too tired to give a shit to write them down and then I completely forget everything that happened when I wake up. So I'm gonna force myself to write in a dream journal, aka my notepad on my phone. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I've been trying not to drink as much Diet Coke lately because I literally was drinking probably six or seven cans a day. And today I only had one bottle, like you know, like the bottle that you buy from, okay, you know what a bottle is. I only had one bottle and I only had half of it because I drank half yesterday and I have the biggest headache in the world. And so at like 10, 30 or 11, I went to McDonald's and got a Diet Coke. I fucked up my sleep schedule. All right, bye.